Many of you are looking for a radiant cut or an emerald cut, but you don't know which one you want because you haven't had the chance to see them side by side, to try it on, to see what it's like on your hand. You've just seen pictures. So today, we're actually gonna dive right into it. We're gonna compare them side by side so you can figure out which one's right for you. So in today's video, we'll dive into some of the similarities between emeralds and radiants. From there, we'll kind of go into what are the differences, how they shine differently, and we'll do a deeper dive for each shape. And for each of them, they're gonna have different recommendations that we'll give you for things that you'll wanna look for. And then we'll end things off with questions we get all the time. You know, things like, hey, is one shape more expensive than the other? Okay, so let's talk about what's similar. Both emerald and radiant cuts are rectangular shaped diamonds. They both have cut corners, but keep in mind, you're not gonna really be able to see the cut corners once they're set, because they are gonna be covered up by the prongs. I think it's, it's good to just mention as well. They do come in square varieties. I think for the course of today, we're mostly gonna be focusing on the rectangular variety that they're most commonly found in, but they are found in square in both versions as well. Absolutely, and the reason why we are gonna focus more on the rectangular varieties today is because I do find that a lot of our clients will realize that they want a rectangular shaped diamond, but they're still unsure of, of which sparkle they favor. Now, the differences. Uh, so the, the obvious difference you're gonna see right off the bat is that they shine and sparkle very differently. Shine bright like a diamond. With a radiant, the way that it shines, you're gonna notice it has a very like uh, a mesmerizing glitter about it, almost a kaleidoscope kind of look that kind of draws you in. The way that I often think about it is, I feel like if you took a, a mirror and you hammered it into a million pieces, the, the kind of sparkle, that, that shine that you, you would imagine getting, you kind of get that in a radiant. Whereas with a emerald cut, you get the exact opposite you get more a look of like mirror panels. It's a very bright, but you can see like these panelings. They're, they're two different, complete different families of the way that they're cut. Um, one is the radiant is what's called a brilliant cut. All it means is that the, the angles are all kind of diagonal from each other on the bottom, which causes that glitter, where your emerald kind of belongs to what we call a step cut. Literally, because if you look at it, you, it literally, the way it's fastened, there are these steps. And as a result, you kind of see that the way that it shines has that kind of bright kind of panel look to it. The other subtle difference between radiance and emeralds is um, the, I'm gonna say the degree to how rectangular you'll find them in, okay? So with radiance, you can get them from being perfectly square to be somewhat rectangular, but uh, literally like maybe one to like a 1.35, 1.4 at the most. So it's kind of rectangular, but not, um, like as rectangular as some people will think. Uh, whereas when you look at an emerald, you can get them from square to being quite rectangular. I mean, over one to 1 1.6. So that is one kind of variation that is important to just kind of put out. There are some people that if you're looking for something that's very rectangular, um, you know, kind of common to what some people will think of when they see an emerald cut, uh, that is one distinction we'll make where that's not gonna be readily available in the radiant. So you're gonna wanna choose a, a radiant cut diamond if you're somebody that loves maximum sparkle. If you really love it when a diamond is glittering and really blinging. Um, you're also gonna wanna pick a radiant if you love a rectangular shape, but, but maybe, maybe you wanna, not a very like linear rectangular shape that you would find in an emerald. Maybe you like a, a more blurred rectangular shape. Yeah, so the radiants typically live in anything from a perfectly square ratio all the way to roughly about 1 to 1.35 is the typical. So they're not going to be very, very rectangular, but that's kind of the shape, zone, or range that they're going to live within. And some of the things that we'll recommend looking out for. So radiants, um, they really show off the, the native color of the stone a lot more. Um, just a side note, it's one of the reasons why radiants are a very common choice for fancy colored diamonds, because they really do show off the color of that diamond really well so. Um, however, when it what comes to- What would you to, recommend? That they stay like H and higher yeah, for a radiant? I'd probably say that. Like if yeah. you're looking for one, like a good H or higher, and again, we kind of hold that loosely because it's it, it's not overly scientific, but a good H or higher, look at the variations for yourself. And see. look at the diamond, not the grade, right? Yeah. If you're seeing yellow, it means you need to go higher. Yeah, and then the, the other thing that we, we, we say things to look out for is 
um, make sure you like the sparkle, right? Mm -hmm. um, if you are thinking that you kind of like the brilliant sparkle that you might find, let's say, in a round better, um, it's, it might be more advisable to look for a rectangular cushion that can sh uh, shine like that. Because uh, the radiants do sparkle, but they do kind of have that glittering look that's a little bit different. So we say choose a radiant if you are looking for a stone that is rectangular, um, but you're okay with the fact that it's not too rectangular, and you prefer one that kind of glitters and sparkles, um, kind of in that brilliant sense that you typically find. So emerald cuts, on the other hand, are quite different. And so the obvious thing is the way that it shines, the bright kind of mirror paneling shine to it. And it's a very elegant look. It obviously does not have the glittery sparkle of the radiant. Uh, one of the things that we always tell clients is, you know, to really appreciate the emerald cut, look at it underneath a microscope. It really is quite fascinating to see the steps and how it all comes together. The other thing with emerald cuts is that because of the way that it shines, it really has a tendency to, to just show off the natural characteristics of the stone itself. And which is, you know, just to say a nice segue into the things to consider for this shape. So uh, number one, color and clarity. So the color of the stone shows up a lot more so than in other shapes. Uh, like the radiant, we'd probably say, hey, start with an H is what we usually recommend and go higher. Uh, depending on your own sensitivity. With clarity, it's, it's, it's such a thing, it's, it's such an in interesting thing. You really do can see the imperfections quite easily. Um, and especially, you know, we, in our clarity video, uh, we often talk about the types of imperfections to focus on. But here, it's also like the size. It really, you know, if you were to talk about grading, we, we usually go with a VS2 or higher. Um, you know, you can get a phenomenal SI1, but really it's quite important yeah because i would say you know in our clarity video we really talk about making sure that that the diamond has the right inclusions the most forgiving and the the most favorable inclusions but because of the step cut and because you can see see so much of 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 the natural characteristics of the diamond it really is important to not only um go with a diamond that has favorable inclusions you also want a very um lightly included diamond because you'll be able to see it. The other thing with emeralds is they come in a, in a larger range in terms of the length to width ratio than radians do. And so you get them in the square uh, all the way to quite rectangular, like the one to 1 1.5 is a very common uh, zone that people like in terms of rectangular shape. You can get them even more rectangular than that. And that, that is one thing to comment on because radians, you will not find them as rectangular as uh, emeralds will get. So choose an emerald if you're going to want a diamond with a more subtle, elegant shine and sparkle. And you're going to also want to choose an emerald if you're going to want a more linear shape rectangle. And you can really dictate how rectangular you want that stone. Mm -hmm. And then I think what is really the most alluring part of an emerald is really just that step cut. You're going to want uh, a very unique cut and, and you'll be able to see it. It'll be very noticeable from afar. So we'll segue into some of the questions that we get asked all the time. And so one of the common ones is, is one shape more expensive than the other? No, it's not. Um, so I would say all fancy shapes, you're, you're probably going to pay the biggest premium for a round shape diamond only because it's the most popular. But I would say fancy shapes, um, if we're talking apples to apples with all the, the characteristics being equal, you're not gonna spend more than one, on one shape over the other. The other question that we get is one shape bigger than the other. Can you answer that's a, that? That's a, that's a really good one. So first off, uh, watch the vid video on the, you know, the thing that people get wrong the most when it comes to diamonds is about carrot and that sort of thing. Um, but let's assume they're both, we're talking about two diamonds that are cut very well. Uh, an emerald and a radiant cut. They're both the same carat weight. They're gonna be very similar. Um, without going into all the technical details, I do find that the emerald cuts come in a slightly larger uh, dimension. They, have a, they, they tend to be cut a little bit more shallow, whereas uh, radiants are a little bit deeper. It has to do with the, the difference between a step cut and a brilliant cut. A lot of brilliant cuts are a little bit deeper. And what that basically means is from the top down, when you're looking at it, you get a little bit less surface area for a radiant compared 
to, uh, to do an emerald cut. But again, it's, it's a very small difference. I think it's what's more important is really gonna be what shine that you have, but to answer that question, yeah, there is a slight difference. Um, another question we often get is, is one shape brighter than the other? How would you, what would you say? I would say that the radiant would be have a more brighter sparkle it would have more of a glittering sparkle and so a lot of times i do find that people are expecting that kind of sparkle out of a diamond so um, if you were looking for a more traditional sparkle i would say the radiant would be the one or if you are looking for more of a unique sparkle then definitely emerald is going to be your favor yeah and then i guess in terms of one's brighter i mean that's a hard one because yeah we're, we, we're really kind of talking about two different things here, but um, for me, I mean, the way I often see it, there's something about radiance that kind of draws you in. I feel like you can appreciate it more up close, um, you know, whereas with emerald cuts, you can kind of see them, because of that mirror paneling effect, I find that I can kind of see it from afar more. We would love to show you these stones so that you can really identify which sparkle is right for you. We can do that in our Toronto studio, in-store, or virtually online. See you guys next time.